Hi, I'm Carson with Dave Smith Instruments here with our latest tutorial to help get you going on your Tempest drum machine. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to set up your Tempest audio connections, examine the voice architecture of the instrument, and learn how to allocate a sound to a voice. For today's video, you'll need a Tempest and the audio device you wish to connect it to. That could be a set of headphones, a mixer, or an audio interface. The quickest and easiest way to get sound out of your Tempest is to plug in a set of headphones to the headphone output jack, or plug from the main output jack into a mixer which feeds your PA. The headphone output is accessed using a quarter-inch TRS jack, while the main outputs are accessed using a quarter-inch TS jack. The Tempest will boot into 16 sounds mode when powered on. 16 sounds is one of four available modes which control how the pads affect the Tempest operation. In this mode, the 16 pressure and velocity sensitive pads trigger the currently selected beat sounds. You can use the sound bank B button to access a second set of 16 sounds per beat. Next, locate the screen's front panel control section. Here you will find three buttons which control what the OLED displays, sounds, pads, and events. Select the sounds button. The OLED will now display the parameters for the last played and currently selected pad. Now, press the oscillator select button. The OLED will show the parameters for the currently selected oscillator. The Tempest has two analog oscillators and two digital oscillators. Oscillators three and four are loaded with over 450 drum, percussion, and wavetable samples. You can use the dedicated front panel controls to set the root pitch and oscillator shape, or you can use the soft parameters above the OLED display to change the parameters. Shifted parameters are written in a light gray on the overlay. They can be accessed using the shift button. Turn shift on by pressing it. The controls for the audio path run along the top of the unit as well as the rightmost section of the middle row of controls. Following the oscillators, there's the low pass filter, high pass filter, feedback, level and pan controls. The leftmost section of the middle row of the front panel has controls for the Tempest modulator section, which includes five envelopes, two LFOs, and an 8x2 modulation matrix. All of the controls can be used to alter the currently selected sounds parameters. The Tempest has a total of six voices available to generate sounds. This means that a maximum of six sounds can happen at any one time. Each voice has a dedicated stereo output, and you should use an insert cable, otherwise referred to as a Y cable, to connect them to your audio device. When no cables are plugged into the individual voice outputs, the voices will all play from the main output. If a cable is plugged into an individual voice output, any sound generated by that voice will be removed from the main outputs. If you want a sound's voice to never be stolen by another sound, or you want to send the sound to one of the individual voice outputs, you will need to manually assign the sound to a voice. To do so, you will need to be in 16 sounds and have the sound screen mode selected. Select the sound you wish to assign to a specific voice by hitting its pad. Now, press the mod pass button to bring up the modulation matrix. Use the page down button to navigate to the choke and voice allocation screen. Use the second soft knob from the right to assign the sound to a specific voice. The assigned sound can now be played without having its voice stolen by another sound. You can plug the TRS end of your insert cable into the individual voice output to remove the sound from the main outputs and send it discreetly from the output. This should get you started integrating the Tempest into your setup and more familiar with configuring its outputs. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.